Adobe Longhorns. I'm Carmen Gonzalez and we here at JFD TV hope you all had a great week off. This week's top story is brought to you by Quinn Lee and Tiffany No, who went out to see what your spring break was like. With a whole week off from school, it gave many of us a chance to do all sorts of fun activities. We went out to catch up on what you guys were doing for spring break. What you do for spring break? I went camping with some friends and then I headed up to Austin for Chance the Rapper. I see his demons in empty hallways. And me and the family went to Canyon Lake, Texas and stayed there four days. Uh, we went to Las Vegas and we stayed in the MGM. Uh, I went to LA in California, but it sucked because I was sick. <laughs> I'm sick. I, I went to uh, the zoo. I saw a lot of cute animals. Uh, I went to San Antonio and that's it. What you do for spring break? Uh, I went to the rodeo and also went hunting. I went shopping and I got this shirt. Who did you see at the rodeo? I see Pitbull. I see Pitbull. I went to Rodeo and I saw like Brian. So. Hope you guys had a great week after spring break. Reporting for JFD TV, I'm Quinn Lee. And I'm Tiffany No. Many teachers and students got the amazing privilege to be moved into the new and improved rooms. Reporter Catherine Maslanka got a closer look. Finally the moment orchestra and dance have been waiting for. The new rooms are open. Did the new room reach your expectations? Yes, we are so excited to be in the new room. Um, we love the space. It's really big and we're excited to get to split the classes and get the kids some more individualized attention. Yes, we have space for everything and everybody. How are you liking the room so far? Um, again, we're loving the room. It's so nice to not have to be in the gym, in the hallway, in the cafeteria with all the other distractions, etc. It's beautiful. We absolutely love it. Everybody is like, oh, it's great. Are you excited about the new room? Yeah, uh, we're really excited to have this new room. It's like an extra 50% increase from our old room, and it gives us a whole lot more space to do all the stuff that we need to do. Yes, I am excited about it. Um, it's definitely bigger, and like it has more space to it. And plus, the dance kids will have more, like, more of an open place to dance rather than just being in the gym. We hope they love their new rooms. Reporting for JFD TV, I'm Catherine Maslanka. Here in JFD TV, we all love the feedback, but sometimes it can get a little harsh. Destiny Muniz put together a look of some of the mean tweets we receive weekly. JFD TV, can y'all get any words? LOL. <laughs> That's terrible. That's so mean. I don't want to see another one. It hurts my heart. Um, Sai says, can they stop playing Five Sauce and JFD TV? Please, they are mine. I'm sorry, that's my bumper. I like their songs. At M Munoz underscore 23. I swear, JFD TV, sleep. Sleep. <laughs> what does that even mean? Five minutes into JFD TV, and I want to chop my own head off. I didn't know the devil had a Twitter. <laughs> Small Fries Baby says, seriously, JFD TV sucks. We don't suck. We're reporting for JFD TV, I'm Virginia Montajano. Really, Chris? Uh, Alonzo Mendiola, what's up with JFD TV people and their hands? That's what we're supposed to do. Why do people always say that? At Yesenia Marie, with two E's, four, says Zena just thinks she's cool because she's on JFD TV. LOL by Boo Boo. I've always been cool. At Bethany underscore IDK says, the music choice for today's JFD TV, Less Than Signs, Riff Raff's entire discography. Why y'all so salty? Y'all need some milk or some water or something. At Trevor 3000 underscore, JFD TV is more whack than me. Is that possible? At toe underscore knee 0722 says, what's the point of JFD TV, lol, like I don't need to know any of this. How do you plan on surviving without us? At awkward Angie underscore, JFD TV gotta chill out with the 5 SOS music all the time, giving me heart attacks. Well then don't listen to it. At Antonio G64, I like how they always show how to cook on JFD TV, but none of these girls know how to turn on the oven. Okay. <laughs> At Adriana Hasso 27 says, people on JFD TV are annoying. Girl, that's half Adobe, not just us. Here's Mary Jo Cavazos with sports. Hey guys, I'm Mary Jo Cavazos and your Longhorn Sports Report starts now. Let's start off with baseball.
baseball. The boys went against Alvin this past Tuesday, and I gotta see them in action. The game's about to start. Let's go, Longhorns. The boys had a rough start, but things picked up in the second inning by Dobie scoring two runs. It was a tough fight with the Yellow Jackets being tied for five innings. Until the seventh inning, the boys lost the battle when Alvin scored the last run, ending with the score 3-2. to two. Don't forget to support the boys tonight against Sam Rayburn. Reporting for JFD TV, I'm Mary Jo Cavazos. Our softball team went up against the Mavericks this past Tuesday, and our reporter, Jamaica Jones, has a scoop. Our Lady Longhorn started off slow, but by the fourth inning, we turned up the heat on the Memorial Mavericks. The score is 2-0 with Emily Wolf sending two Lady Longhorns past the home plate, including herself. Making the score was 2-0 in the fourth inning. How did that motivate you to step up your game and get the win? Um, I really think that I go into the game knowing that we can beat anybody because we practice hard every day and I did get a little worried but I knew that we could come back just like we do every game. Well, it was great because last year Memorial kicked us out of playoffs and so just to go out there and kick their butts was like amazing. It's an amazing feeling. The Longhorns fought hard against the Memorial Mavericks, taking home the win. Reporting for JFD TV, I'm Jamaica Jones. Now to soccer. The boys soccer team finished the regular season during spring break. Our reporter Jackie Farah has the story. Here at the game against Memorial, let's wish the boys good luck. The first goal was scored by number seven, Sabino Lozano. The game went over time for penalties. The goals were scored by number 11, Josue Villalta, number 13, Santos Blanco, number eight, Nixon Urrutia, and by number 21, Edwin Saldivar. Successfully taking home the win and moving on to playoffs. Uh, everybody just give it their best. All the seniors uh, played as good as they could. Uh, we tied, but like penalties, we managed to come out and we made, we came out strong. Uh, I think it was an emotional night for the seniors, you know, with all the senior night and stuff. But uh, the guys, the guys played well in the second half. And Look, it is what it is. Trust me, you get what you give. Yeah, you gotta come to my side and see how we live. Yeah. The powerlifting team has made us proud by advancing to state, and our reporter Brandon Flores has a story. The powerlifting season is coming to an end but competitor Young Trung made it to state. I got a chance to talk to him. What has been your focus for this season? Uh, this season, my focus was trying to get through regionals and make it to state because last year, I did not make it to regionals. What are your starting lifts? For squad, I'm gonna open up with 575 pounds on squad and bench 435 pounds and deadlift 610 pounds. What are you expecting going in the state? Trying to place in the top three at least, hopefully. What motivates you to power lift? Um, to compete against other lifters as strong as me and to finish up as number one. I bet I can beat you at arm wrestling. I bet you you can. Good luck to Young Chang as he competes this weekend at state competition. Reporting for JFD TV, I'm Brandon Flores. One group of people who dedicate themselves to every sport don't really receive the recognition they deserve. Desi Muniz and Stephanie Dang are here to show you what it's like to be in their shoes. Every sport has a group of student athletic trainers who are always there when they need them. But what does it really take to be one? It takes a lot to be a trainer. You know, we have to show up extra early to make sure we have everything and prepare for the games. We have to go to all the team's games no matter what sport. So we're never really out of season or anything. We're always doing something. Um, we have to be prepared to handle any injury that comes across and know what to do to take care of it and treat it. There are many techniques the trainers have to learn, so here's some that we tried out. Cover up. Cover up. Yeah. Okay.
Make sure to not only support the players, but support your student athletic trainers too. Reporting for JFD TV, I'm Stephanie Dang. And I'm Destiny Muiz. That's it for your Longhorn Sports Report. Now let's send it back to Carmen in the studio. Thanks, Mary Jo. The debate team is having their annual showcase this weekend, and reporter George Rojas has the details. Their oratories were lively and spirited and would have gotten a lot of attention. Our debate team has been preparing for a big event this Saturday. So I went out to ask what exactly is Adobe Debate Showcase. Well, the Speech and Debate Showcase is going to be all the students that qualify for the state championship. And what we're going to do is we're going to have all of those students perform for the school. They're going to do their routines that they normally do. We have Jalen Bolden, who's going to do dramatic interpretation. Uh, we have yeah. a lot of great things we're going to show the school. And it's just going to showcase all of the great things that they've been doing all year. Make sure to come out and support the Adobe Debate Team here at 7. Reporting for JVT TV, I'm George Rojas. The Latin Club is heading off to state. And reporter Lillian Wen had a chance to catch up with them before they went off to compete. What is Latin Club about? Well, basically all year what we do is we prepare for um, Latin state competition and to do that we study different academic areas and then we take tests over it at state. What categories does it fall into? Well, Latin Club is comprised of many different categories ranging from vocabulary, Latin derivatives, Roman life, Greek life, Greek history, Latin oratory, and just a plethora of other subjects. So far, what have y'all been preparing for state? Well, so far, all our categories have been having study sessions. For, uh, the academic uh, categories are studying their materials and books. And Good luck to Latin as they prepare for state. Reporting for JFD TV, I'm Lillian Wynn. That'll be all for this week's newscast. Remember, you can find us online for a replay of our show. And don't forget to download the JFD TV app available for iPhone and Android. Thanks for watching and have a great weekend.